Hello everyone, I am Janet Yuvali, the PhD student in my second year at the Science and Technology Faculty of Leeds. I am honored to present you a part of my thesis project which focuses on phosphate stabilizing bacteria, value and response in two spices of Papilionacea seeds. First of all, it is better to understand the process of phosphorus in the plant root soil cycle, since phosphorus is an essential element for plants and is a major component of molecules and mechanisms such as uh, nucleic acid biosynthesis, respiration, photosynthesis, and other mechanisms. In fact, there, there are three sources of phosphate in soil, organic phosphate, inorganic phosphate, and applied fertilizers. Nevertheless, phosphorus is present at levels of 400 and 1200 mg per 1 kg, with a generally very low concentration. It is important to note that phosphorus is taken up by roots in several forms, but the preferred forms are orthophosphate. Therefore, plant accessibility and the replenishment from the soil is limited by the solubilization and transport of dissolved phosphate to the roots. Therefore, agriculture is mainly dependent in organic phosphate fertilizers to make up for its deficiency. Biological fertilization such as plant growth promoting rhizobacteria and phosphate stabilizing bacteria is a promising way to overcome this problem by sustainably improving plant growth and increasing crop yields while preserving the ecological quality of the for this purpose, the present study aims to assess the ability of several PSVs to enhance broad bean and pea growth throughout increasing germination rates and root length to improve the effectiveness of agronomic microbial fertilizer. For this purpose, we started with a large sampling in forthcoming of the first magnetic region from the rhizospec soils of cultivated and spontaneous plants. Bacterial isolates with the ability to solubilize insoluble phosphate were plated on NBRIP agar medium containing tricalcium phosphate as the only source of phosphate. All isolates that were able to grow on NBRIP medium were subcultured over several cycles on a rich TSA medium in order to obtain pure chlorine. Then microscopic and, bi and uh, biochemical analyses were then carried out. A quantitative test was done to measure PSV solubilization capacity of tricalcium phosphate in a liquid medium and after incubation a volume of bacterial suspension was taken and centrifuged. Supernated were recovered and analyzed for their assimilable phosphate content on the seven days by the ascorbic acid colometric method, then the pH medium was measured. For seedling bioassay, six bacterial isolates were grown in TS and med agar medium. Broad bean and pea seeds were surface sterilized with, uh, sterilized with sodium hypochlorite and washed five times with distilled wa water. Then uh, inoculated with suspension bacteria separately. Five pergeminated seeds were used in each petri dish after seven days post inoculation. Radicals were more than seed size and germination percentage was registered. Several strains were selected uh, based on colony morphology and significant specializing alu as a qualitative indication of PSB. And here is a picture showing the bacteria that were able to, to grow on uh, the NBIB medium. As a result, uh, 135 isolates were selected and transplanted into NBRIP medium five times to be purified. The isolation allowed us to make a count in each region and especially for each plant. This is explained on the table where the region of Kandar Sidikhiar indicate the high microbial load in the presence of Erville as a culture. A quantitative measurement of P released by the isolates in embryo growth medium showed the high P solubilization capacity associated with the decrease in the pH medium when compared to control in TSP tricalcium phosphate containing medium. 
this graph shows the correlation between solubilized calcium phosphate and the pH of the medium after seven days of inoculation on inbrip medium. Whereas isolate I61 provide to be the most efficient in the solubilization of phosphate with a concentration of 0147 gram per liter, which coincides with the parallel decrease in the pH of the culture medium compared to the co co commercial control. In addition, we can see that our strains show a significant positive impact by promoting pea and broad bean seedling growth. The germination percentage and root length compared to both positive and negative control were increased. The high epoxyl and radical length results were observed in seeds inoculated with I53 strain followed by I61 strain. Besides that, uh, the, pre the present result showed a significant response regarding germination rate and root length of broad bean inoculated seeds better than pea inoculated seeds. Also, we noted that our results showed a significant relationship between the root length, root number, and germination percentage uh, of inoculated seeds. Root length and root number increased increased uh, considerably with increasing germination percentage, which explain uh, a strong positive correlation. In conclusion, the present work was allowed us to identify competent strains that can be used as microbial fertilizers in agronomic file. However, the main scientific challenge is the use of these microorganisms in consortium in order to have competent microbial inoculants in sustainable legume production systems under various conditions. We thank you for your attention.